I think their feelings, their comprehension about the world, their consciousness, their understanding is and will be distinctly different from that as humans and we won't really be able to understand why a super intelligent machine is making the decisions that it, it is doing. Just a simple fact that humans think about things three-dimensionally. That's fine, that's what we've evolved to do. A super intelligent machine can think in 10 or 20 dimensions. How can you reason? How can you bargain? How can you try and understand how that machine is thinking when it's thinking in dimensions that you can't conceive of? But let's assume that there are humans that are against intelligent machines being given more decisions, of which there are some, and that there are certainly some humans that are against having implants, that are against becoming a cyborg and having extra abilities. Uh, it's difficult to see much of a positive future existence for them, that clearly the world is going to be dominated either by intelligent machines or cyborgs, or a combination, that, that's where the future's going. So the future for an ordinary everyday human, I, I guess there'll be some sort of subspecies, uh, just like we have cows now, um, so we'll have humans in the future. There'll be other creatures, other species, cyborgs, in, intelligent machines that are the dominant life forms on earth. And as a cyborg, if a, a human came to see me and it starts making silly noises, a bit like a cow does now, if a cow comes to me and says moo, 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 I, I'm not going to say, yeah, that's a great idea, I'm going to do what you tell me. So it will be with a human. They'll, they'll come in and start making these silly noises that we call speech and human language and so on. And I, <laughs> these trivial noises, I'm not going to do those silly things. Why should I? This creature is absolutely stupid in comparison to me.